New Albany Floyd County Schools is joining a new era of electric and propane powered vehicles. Yeah, this year it began rolling out a handful of school buses that run on propane rather than diesel and more are on the way. Brooke explains the decision behind it and how it could save the district a lot of money in the long run. Call it a reflection of the times. There's this shift happening away from gasoline and diesel. Compared to the usual school bus out on the road today, New Albany Floyd County Schools is slowly transitioning to a greener alternative. They're quiet, they start well in the cold weather. So far everything's going great. Out of its fleet of 150 buses, Mitch Corwin says there are four now powered by propane and five more are on the way. A lot of the question mark is around the fuel tank. It's reinforced, it's got a cage, it's, it's, it's guarded, super safe. People do question that. But yeah, everything we've looked at um, shows no signs of any safety issues or we wouldn't have even entertained the idea. The district invested in these buses with help from a Volkswagen grant, emphasizing clean air projects that will significantly reduce diesel emissions across the state. Diesel doesn't burn clean. It, it creates smoke and soot and pollutes the earth. But the propane burns cleaner and you don't have to have all that extra uh, baggage on there. Hannah Hunt's talking about the added systems put in place on diesel buses, almost $25,000 worth of after treatment that filters the pollutants before they're released into the air. 75% of our problems with the diesel buses are the after treatment issues. That has downed a lot of our buses. With the new buses, she doesn't have to worry about that. Now the propanes, none of this is here. It's completely just a straight pipe all the way back. Aside from the environmental aspect, there's also a cost savings down the road. The maintenance costs look to be lower. There's far fewer parts uh, in regards to the emissions and all the things that we have on the diesel buses now. And while propane does not get as good fuel mileage. The fuel is cheaper. For example, the last time I purchased diesel fuel here, we paid over $3 a gallon. Um, the last time I purchased propane, we paid $1.26 per gallon. So uh, roughly a half to a third, of the, a third of the price. And if these buses ever travel out of town, there are a variety of propane filling stations to choose from as more companies nationwide jump on board. I'm excited to see where we're headed. In New Albany, Brooke Hash, WHAS 11 News. And that green symbol on the bus is a clear sign of what's powering it. Another cost savings to the district. A typical diesel bus can cost anywhere between $120,000 to $125,000. The propane buses are closer to $132,000, but grant money available to school districts pays for about a third of that price.